hi guys. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to run a craft bucket server on a Mac. Alright, so let's get started. First, in Finder, we're going to go File, New Folder. We're going to create a new folder. You can call it Craft Bucket or something like that. It really doesn't matter what you name it, you know, whatever you want. Alright, that's how you spell bucket for uh, this type of server. Alright, so there's our Craft Bucket uh, folder right there. Alright, next thing we need to do is we need to go to a website where that you download the server from and this website will be in the description so here you go to the website and go to build history and it looks like the latest version is 450 you don't need to get the latest version um, and most plugins will still run on lower versions so you know it's up to you but you, you know normally you get the latest version and um, the next thing you need to check is make sure it's a successful build that's a success. If, if it's red, it means it's not. Don't download the ones that are red. Or don't uh, say unsuccessful. Alright, so to download that, we're going to click here. Alright, so there's an old one. Don't need that. There it is right there. Alright, get out of here. Alright, then we're going to do take it out of downloads and then drag it into the craft bucket. Open up the craft bucket. And then, this is optional, but I would recommend it. it just makes the name look cleaner. Just edit the name and delete this snapshot and this all these numbers and just make it craftbucket.jar. There we go. All right, just like that. All right, the next thing we're gonna want to do: open up text edit. There we go. And then first thing in text edit, go to format, make plain text. And I actually already have a bucket start command, so I'm gonna just copy and paste this one. All right, there it is. There, so I'm gonna copy. And get out of there. Yeah. Get out of there. Good. And we'll just uh, paste this here. All right. Um. And I'll teach you about this start command real quick. The uh. This is a Mac only start command. This will only run for Macs. This is the only start command that will run for Macs. All right. So these two lines, no matter what Mac you're running on, should always be the same. This line could differ though. Right here. All right. What this is saying um is how much RAM you're giving it. Uh, what file you're opening up and if you have a GUI or not. So your RAM, that depends on your system. Like um, on this computer, I'll show you. I have 4 gigabytes of RAM right here. That's how you figure it out on Mac. 4 gigabytes of RAM. So you don't want to exceed or meet this amount of gigabytes. See, that's why I put 2 gigabytes on here. See, um, if you exceeded or um, actually gave it 4 gigabytes of RAM, you couldn't open any of this stuff because all the RAM would be put into the server. You couldn't do anything else. So, um, you don't, uh, really ever want to, um, put in exactly how much RAM you have or exceed it. So I just put in two gigabytes. I mean, you could run it off one gigabyte. You could run it off half a gigabyte if you wanted to. I mean, it's really up to you. I mean, in your, what your system, uh, is capable of. So that's, um, that's what that is. When I post this down here, I'll post it as one gigabyte. Because I don't want to exceed some computer's, um, limits. But you can change that here by changing the number in there but make sure it's an exact number of how many gigabytes so for one gigabyte it should be something like 1024 and then two gigabytes is 2048 you know something like that M capital M in both spots here and there alright next this is important too here if you remember we changed the name of that to craftbucket.jar here it says craftbucket.jar if you left that with the numbers and the snapshot you need to change the start command and add those numbers in the snapshot exactly as they appear here. That and that need to be exactly matched. And then the GUI, if you don't understand the GUI, it's not a really big deal. If you don't understand it, then just leave no GUI. It won't make a big difference to the server. Alright, next we're going to save. Alright. And then make sure you can save it whatever you want. I'll just name it start. But you need to make sure you put dot .command. That's important. That's saying it's not a it's not a like word document file. It's actually a, it's actually gonna start the server. It's actually gonna do something. So dot command and then save it. You can save it to your desktop or something like that. And then uh, we can get rid of that. And then what? You need to take it off your desktop and put it in the folder where your craft bucket dot jar is. So we're gonna put it in the craft bucket folder. All right. Next thing we're gonna want to do is open up te uh, terminal. So get terminal up. Then we're going to type in chmod space a plus x space. So that is chmod space a plus x space. That will be down in the description too. 
And then once we do that, I'm going to open up uh, this folder again. We're going to take our start command here. We're going to take it, we're going to drag it in here and drop it. And then we're going to hit enter. That's saying that this has permission to access this file and run it. That's what we just did there. All right, we can get rid of this terminal now. All right. So now we are ready to actually start the server. You never, you don't click this. This isn't this. This isn't how you start it. That's our actual server. To start the server, we double click this, the start command. There we go. Double clicked it. Starting. All these warnings are gonna come up because it's your first time. It's gonna generate all these files here, and that's what all those warnings are saying. It's generating the files. The preparing spawn area is gonna take extra long this time because it's the first time ever doing, you know, starting the world. And then um. There we go. It's ready. And on um, since this one doesn't have an IP in it, this one I won't actually do anything right now. So let's just stop that. S T O P. That's how you always stop a server. If you don't do that, it won't save. So you always want to save it. S T O P. Stop. All right. We can close that. You just get rid of that. Quit terminal. All right. The next thing you want to do is we're going to want to edit server properties. So double click server properties. The first thing you want to do is get your private IP address. <coughs> That's going to be your server IP. <coughs> Now, for the most of us, it's going to be what um, whatever our computer says. So the easiest way to find it on our um, computer, go to terminal, type in ifconfig, hit enter, and this is all your internet, um, you know, data, the, all, everything about your internet's on here. This is your server IP right there. That's mine right there. All right. So um, that's just your private IP address. Okay. That's the IP address you're going to be connecting to if you're running, if you're on the same internet that the server's running on. So we're going to take that, paste it into um, server IP, and then that's your server IP. This is your server port. This is the default port for Minecraft. This should o always be left the same unless, um, of course, you change, uh, unless you have more than one server. Uh, the way server properties works is just a true-false thing, you know, spawn animals, true, false, you know, whatever you want to do. This is important to online mode. If you have friends, or if you are running on the Minecraft SP, or um, you know the ha the hacked and modded Minecraft one, the one that the paid one they actually get for free, it's called Minecraft SP. If you have that, you need to change that to false, okay? Or else you won't be able to connect to it. All right, so there we go. So save that, and then what we're gonna want to do is uh, that's that's good for now. So let's just try it out and make sure it works. Make sure we can connect. So double click the start command and it started in the server and it started see how quick that was didn't have to prepare all that region alright now what we need to do go into minecraft alright go into minecraft good and then what we're gonna wanna do is go into multiplayer and then this is our server IP this has to be this IP that you put into server properties so you get this IP that you put into server properties you type it in here with all the dots and everything and then you click connect and we are in the server as you can see this is a server the first time you're on it's gonna be a bit shaky a bit laggy it's gonna start spawning things start generating stuff alright so now we are in the server we everything seems to be working fine as you can see here it says sniping kills logged in that's my IP address the same as the server and then log in with entry ID, you know, all that stuff. All right. And this is for uh, Minecraft beta version 1.3 underscore zero one. So that that's the latest version right now. And I think I'm dead. Oh no, very close. Don't step on cactuses. All right. Anyway, so this is the latest version of Minecraft as of February 25th, 2011. Um which is version 1. Point that right there and then we are running on ver uh, craft bucket version 450 and uh, by this time I would guess that a new version of bucket would come be uh, have come out by the time you watch this video so um, stay tuned for my other videos in my other videos I'll explain how to run plugins how to edit your server properties more how to do port forwarding that's a very big uh, trip up for a lot of people so alright so um, stay tuned I just